guys, my name is Daniel and today I'm going to be showing you a video of how to integrate a SCEP server with Jam Pro 10's SCEP proxy. So this is a continuation of a previous video I've made where I looked at building a SCEP server on Microsoft or Microsoft Endes as you prefer. Uh, continuing on this, so I have an AD server, a root CA and a Endes server. So this is not all in one as I've done in the past. I'll also jump into here and I'll show you that I have a Jamf server. Already configured, but completely clean, no devices, enrolled, no profiles, nothing else. So the idea behind the Jamf Pro 10 SCEP proxy is under PKI certificates, under your settings global management, we have a managed certificate template external CA and we have this new tick box enable Jamf Pro as a SCEP proxy. In the past for a device through Jamf for to get a SCEP certificate, the device needs to be able to contact both Jamf and the SCEP server. This is a new feature where the Jamf server and device can only need to talk to themselves and then the Jamf server talks to directly to the SCEP server. So you don't need to expose your SCEP server to the world. So what I need to do here is I need to put in my SCEP details here. So the URL, I'm going to do HTTPS, and I can show you here if I go HTTPS, services slash cert srv slash mscap. You can see here that I have this here. You'll also notice I was not prompted for a certificate. I have signed this with a third party certificate. If you're going to be using something like Jamf Cloud, you and you want to be talking over HTTPS to your SCEP server, you will need to be using a third party SSL certificate. And I'll show you where I've added that in on IIS if you're unfamiliar. If you're using an internal Jamf server and an internal CA, you would just make sure that the server itself trusts it uh, through the Java um, CA certs. So, so I already have SCEP running and I'll put in the details in here. So I'll just copy and paste. And remember to do the mscap.dll. The name, I'll just do end as mscapra. The subject, I'm going to leave blank. You can populate these fields here, or you can actually have the option of putting these in your profile. I'm going to leave this blank in here, and I'll show you where I can put into the actual profile that's being deployed. I'm going to do a dynamic Microsoft CA. And you can see here, I've already had this populated. And there's my end as username and their super secure password. One important thing here is we also need this thing called a signing certificate. This is to allow the Jamf's key store, the Jamf web application, to actually make the request on behalf of the device. So we need to get a certificate from the Windows CA side and upload it into the, the Jamf server here so that it can then make the request on its behalf. So I'll go save and there I'll have the option to upload that. So what I'll do is I'll jump over into my Endes server and I'll show you how you can create that certificate. Okay, so if I have a look here, the first thing I'll show you is under my IIS settings, I have a service certificate. You can see I've imported in uh, a PFX wildcard certificate and then under my sites, I've added the bindings. There's 443, edit, and there I've linked that in there. Make sure you restart IIS after doing this. So that's all I've just done to put a wildcard certificate on there. So what I need to do is I need to make a user certificate that will be then acting as a signing certificate there. Now, what you'll find is if I just run MMC and I go add, remove, snap in certificates, my user account, that will be the local administrator that I'm signed in as. And I don't want to make a certificate with that. What I want to do is I want to use the end as user for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where MMC is. All right, open file location. And if you do hold down the shift key, when you right click, you get the option to run as a different user. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do my end as user account. As I go out to continue, type in administrator. I don't want to do this here. That will then revert it back to administrator. So I'm going to use another account. I'm going to just do this again. 
Now, it's worth noting the Endes user is not a domain admin. It is not an admin of this machine. It has no login. It is only a member of the IIS users group. All right, but I can go file, add, remove, snap in, certificates. Oh, oops. Add current user there. Okay, and what I can do is I can go all tasks. You'll see I probably already have one there. So what I'll do is I'll delete that. All right, and I'll go all tasks. and I'm gonna request a new certificate. I'll go next. The Active Directory Enrollment Policy is a, one of the default ones, so I'll go next there, and I'm gonna choose User. And I go Enroll. Okay, succeeded there, so go Finish. There is my NDES User Certificate issued by my root CA. I can right click on this here now, and I can export it. And I'm going to export the private key include all certificates in the certificate path, so this will include the chain. I'll go next, and I'm going to secure it, so with an export password, I'll uh, put it on this PC. Let's just put it under a shared. Put it under the public there, and I'll call it end as user. Next, and finish. So I can close this here now, and I won't bother. Back to this PC, C program files, users, public. There's my certificate there. And what I'll do is I will open in a new window and I'll just put that onto my Mac here. Perfect. So if I jump back into my Mac, I can change the signing certificate. I'm gonna choose the file. There it is in my downloads enter in my export password that I just entered in. It will give me what the chain is. You can see there's the root and that, so that's fine. Go next, next, and done. So now I put in all of my standard uh, SCEP or NDES information under the Global Management Managed Certificate Template External CA section. And I've got my signing certificate there. What I can do now is I go back to my computers and oh, what I first should do is I should enroll my Mac. And just a, uh, oh, no. Enroll, continue, continue and install. And install. Okay, so while that's enrolling, which it has, I can go back to my server and I'll wait for, wait for the enrollment to complete. There we go, unmanaged is currently one because it's probably still doing an inventory it is. So what I'll do is I'll make a configuration profile while I wait. So I just go new, I can call this skep proxy and you'll see in here under the skep field, if I go configure, I have this tick box here, use the external certificate authority settings. All right, so the name, it will, if you can re-populate uh, this and it will override, I'm gonna leave it blank because I'll read in there. We have this feature here where you can redistribute the profile uh, when it's a uh, number of days of expiring. I'll leave it as never for the moment. The subject, this is where I'm going to put it in. I didn't put this in on my template settings, so I'll need to put something in here. So I'll go CN equals dollar computer name. Right. And you notice I don't have to put anything else in here because it's reading all the challenges and URLs from the CA settings. Okay, I'll just save that for the moment. I haven't scoped it yet. I'll go back to my inventory. Oh, acting a little slow on me here. Okay, so there's my jab test machine. So completed its enrollment. Bring up console, I can see. Firewall, jab. Still doing the bundle, so. Yeah, see so it hasn't done a check or anything like that. So we'll just give it another moment. I'll 
I'll go to Scap Proxy here, and I can go to Scope. So I'm Keychain Access as well under the System certificates. There, there's my CA. I'm going to edit this. Scope. I'll go Add. There's my machine. I'll go Save. There's my profiles. Yep, there's a signer that will disappear. There's my SCEP certificate and the SCEP proxy. Or, oh. So benefits of this, uh, as I mentioned, you can really lock down uh, your communication to your Endes server endpoint. So if you're using Jamf Cloud, you can just restrict it down to the Jamf Cloud IP addresses available on uh, the Jamf Nation knowledge base article. And it means like for a lot of organizations that are potentially needing to use a certificate pro certificate to get onto the network, they can just expose their Jamf server externally using a reverse proxy. Um, and that way they can enroll on a guest network. And then as part of that enrollment, this configuration profile could go down to allow them onto the internal network. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to put them in the comments. Um, but yeah, thank you very much.